Hello, my name is Dominic Geyer. I'm leading the global e-bike business at Specialized and I'm excited introducing the new Turbo Libo SL to you guys. So we got a lot of feedback from riders in the market saying they like the idea of what an e-mountain bike does to their ride to go further, faster, cover more drills, but at the same time weren't willing to compromise as much of the agility and nimbleness of a, of a core trail bike along with it. That's why we said, hey, let's make a bike for those, those riders as well, which is the Levo SL. So what we did in order to achieve this was coming up with a sophisticated, from scratch, new uh, technology system, our SL technology system, with a ground up motor, new motor, that is much more compact at 1.9 kg, providing up to 240 watts, 35 Newton meters of max power, the important thing, the motor is really designed and the software configured to support a very natural ride feel. So the motor provides a constant max support between 55 up to 120 um, RPM. So really ensuring that the rider has across the bandwidth of cadence uh, the best possible support. Along with the motor, we also designed uh, a new battery. Uh, that battery has a capacity of 320 watt hours, which might for a few riders in the first moment sound like, oh, that's not a lot, but you have to always consider the battery along with the motor. So the motor is consuming uh, considerably less power through the smaller max uh, power output, and with that needs less watt hours from the battery. So the symbiosis between the motor and the battery brings you back to a riding time uh, with the internal pack of around three hours with average mid assist. And we are also offering along with the bike the opportunity for a range extender that looks like a water bottle, fits in the water bottle cage, providing you another 160 watt hours, so another 50% more range. Between the internal battery and the range extender, uh, we are talking about a riding of up to five hours, which as we just uh, <laughs> recognized the past, the past couple of rides, results in the rider actually being um, tired before the battery is empty. So it really uh, provides you a ride of up to five hours with, with a very good assist. Okay, real quick. What you see here is the motor, the main battery, the backup battery, the connector cable to connect the two batteries, the control unit, and the remote. This is it. This is the entire Levo SL motor system. The motor is minuscule, and it's a fully custom wound, custom made unit just for Specialized. Inside the motor capsule is a torque sensor, the torque sensor board, the main processing PCB board, which is separated from the motor by a small shell to keep it cool, and two plugs, one that goes to the battery and one that goes to the head unit. There are two clutches inside the motor to completely eliminate friction, one inside the main drive gear and one inside the torque sensor. This lets everything spin freely when you stop pedaling. At the end of the day, we're talking about that system providing you support that's two times you, so you have a lot of support along the way, but between the battery and the motor, you achieve a bike that weights around 70 kilograms, so much, much less. And with that, it's just so much nimbler and uh, more agile on the trails, especially on the downhill. So Levo SL, two times you, whereas the Levo with the big 2.1 motor with up to 560 watt, uh, watt motor support plus the big 700 watt hour battery providing you uh, up, up to four times you. So it's really that in between from a push bike, which we call like the stump jumper enduro, Levo SL two times U and Levo four times U. A big part of the system is the Mission Control app. This lets you tune the bike's different settings from eco to sport to turbo. Each mode has two settings that you can adjust. Support, which is how hard you have to work before the assist kicks in, so set it easier if you want it to kick in sooner. And peak power, which is the maximum percentage of the available total power that it will provide in that setting. 
It even gives you control over how the system looks and sounds. Turn on stealth mode and the lights will go out on the control box. Turn the beeps on and off if you want to be totally quiet. I left both on so that I could tell very easily what mode I was in and when it switched. It also shows you diagnostics, which is mainly your battery percentage left and total battery capacity, otherwise known as battery health. It'll show you for the main battery and the range extender battery. You can also find things like serial number, hardware and firmware updates, and check in on the motor's temperature. There is an available head unit that'll show you things like speed, distance traveled, total odometer distance, but you don't have to attach it. You can also use the app to check your ride history. Of course, you have to tell it to start recording a ride in order to see that. Lastly is your settings, which will show you which bike you have selected in case you have more than one specialized turbo e-bike. You can also pair other sensors, like a heart rate monitor, and in the future they'll have modes that will automatically change the level of assist to help you stay within a target heart rate that you set in the app. It's worth noting that to pair the app with the bike, you will have to pull the control box out of the frame to get a pin code hidden on the underside, and that's to prevent anyone from accidentally or intentionally pairing their app with your bike. The lights on the display show you how much battery power is left. When you only have the internal battery running, all of the light bars are blue. When you add the range extender battery, it's adding another 50% of total battery power, so it shows the bottom half of the system in green. As you ride, the system tries to pull power from both batteries equally, and that helps it maintain as close to 48 volts as possible. And yes, this is a 48 volt system, which is different than the original Levo and Kinevo, so you can't swap batteries between the two. For a full explanation of why they did that, check the written post on bikerumor.com for more tech details and photos. Now let's head back to camp and talk about the bike's design. Hi, my name is Joe Buckley and I'm the product manager for Turbo Mountain at Specialized. And I'm here to tell you about the Levo SL. You guys have already heard about the system from Dom. So I'll tell you about the frame. Uh, the Levo SL, uh, as it's laid out, very similar to the Stump Jumper and its big brother, the Levo. Um, it has kinematics that are very similar uh, to each of those bikes. And Geo is kind of a mix of, uh, of both of those. The, um, in fact, all of the Geos except for the chain stay length are the exact same as the Levo. So head angle, reach, stack, uh, seat tube angle, bottom bracket height are exactly the same as the Levo is. And then chain stay length, because the motor packaging is so much smaller than the Levo, is a 437, which matches our stump jumper. So it's a very short chain stay compared to the Levo, which has 455 millimeter chain stays. So uh, in addition to the drop in weight with this bike, that geo difference helps um, keep the bike light and playful compared to the Levo. The frame uh, layout is a sidearm layout to help add stiffness to the frame, especially between the forward shock mount and the main pivot link um, to benefit the rider with more control in ridding the frame of undamped travel. Uh, it also uses some of the other stump jumper and Levo features as well, including the flip chip. So that flip chip allows you to change the head angle by half a degree and bottom bracket height by about seven millimeters or so. Cable routing is very similar to the stump jumper as well. And there's full cable tubes from the front end here uh, to the back end. So cable changing cable housings is, is quite easy. Uh, the other difference between this and a Levo is the battery living inside the frame. Um, it's held in place by two bolts on the down tube. And to make that efficient, lightweight, and stiff chassis, uh, we um, wanted to have it fully enclosed in here, which means you have to remove four of the bolts of the motor, swing the motor out of the way, unbolt the battery, and it comes out. So it's not permanently inside of there, uh, but it is a little more difficult to remove, but it's just as easy to charge on a Levo inside the bike. So those are the main features on, on the frame. It comes in aluminum and carbon models. Uh, carbon models are size small through XL. On the aluminum, we offer an extra small, which is a bit smaller to fit younger riders and shorter riders. Um, that pretty much covers the layout for Lego SL. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to check out the full review of the new Turbo Levo SL, Click the video that's coming up next on screen or just find it in our YouTube channel. 
And be sure to check like and subscribe and head over to Bike Rumor for the full written review that has more photos and tech details on the complete battery system as well as the full written review. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you next time.